Getting hold of a new gaming PC is a wonderful thing, and if you're new to computer gaming, welcome to a world of endless customization, higher quality visuals, and the precision offered by the mouse and keyboard. A question I get asked pretty much all of the time though is about how difficult it is to set everything up. Is it a complicated process? Is it something you need prior experience? Or is it something you can just quickly and easily jump into? Now to show you what it's all about, I've teamed up with Acer and they've been really kind enough to sponsor this video. And here we have their latest Orion 5000 gaming PC and we're gonna set it up from start to finish. It's a pre-built computer and it's completely ready out of the box with specification options that are perfect for affordable high-end gaming as well as the real top tier stuff if you go for something with a GTX 1080. The one we've got here has a GTX 1060 graphics card, an i7 processor and 8GB of RAM. Inside the box you'll find a quick start guide and a power cord. Plugging in the computer is as simple as connecting that power cord to the mains grabbing a mouse and keyboard, and then finding a TV or monitor. You will need to plug the display cable straight into the graphics card rather than the motherboard, and these ports are all located on the back of the computer, but the graphics card is arranged horizontally, whereas the motherboard is at the top and arranged vertically. Your computer should turn on with a simple press of a button, and as Windows is helpfully pre-installed, we don't need to fiddle about and we can follow the on-screen prompts to proceed into the Windows desktop. If you have built the computer yourself, or you're buying something without an OS, then you will need to download a copy of Windows first, plop this on a USB drive, and then connect it to your PC before switching it on. If you've not yet connected a network cable to the back of your computer, then assuming you have a wireless module installed, you'll be asked to connect to Wi-Fi using your standard credentials, but I would highly recommend that you use a wired connection for the best experience when gaming, but it's not strictly required. Now our computer has been set up, we're almost ready to get gaming. But there are a couple of things that you should do before proceeding that will help to just make everything run a little bit smoother. The most important thing is to update our drivers. By doing so, we'll be ensuring our computer uses all of its hardware in the most efficient way possible, and it will ensure a smooth experience in the latest games. The most critical update is the graphics card driver, and these are found from the manufacturer's website, here we have a GTX 1060, so I found and installed the latest drivers from Nvidia, but obviously if you have something like an RX 580 graphics card, then you're going to want to look at the AMD website. Now that we have our drivers up to date, it's time to download all of that gaming software so we can actually start playing games. There's actually quite a few things to download and it is quite annoying as different games use different suites depending on their publisher. Steam is obviously the biggest, it's been around for donkey's years and pretty much essential for any gaming PC worth its salt. But you'll likely also want to grab EA's Origin for games like Battlefield, and Ubisoft's Uplay if you're a fan of Assassin's Creed. If you're a little unsure which one you need, then all you need to do is just Google the game followed by PC or PC version, and it shouldn't be too difficult to find out exactly what software you need as a link is normally provided. Each service will require you to make your own account, and then, similarly to the PlayStation Store, any purchased game will remain downloadable on your account forever. If you're after a couple of free-to-play games to get started, my personal favourites would be Smite and Dota 2, and these are both available on Steam. To install a game, it really couldn't be easier. All you need to do is find it in your library, hit install, and you're pretty much good to go. The only thing you need to be aware of is that by default, the games will save on your C drive, which is where Windows is installed, so if you have multiple hard drives, you may want to change it if you're trying to manage your library or you're just running out of space. Most games can be played with either a controller or mouse and keyboard, so you're able to use whatever you feel most comfortable with, but before you start playing, it's definitely worth visiting the options menu and adjusting a few graphics settings. Each option will strike a balance between visual and performance, and it's up to you to pick a balance that you're happy with. As a general rule of thumb, you're aiming for between 30 and 60 frames per second at your native resolution, but obviously more is normally better. If you are a little unsure on what any of the settings are, or you just don't want to make this decision for you, you wish it was done in the best possible way, then both Nvidia and AMD actually offer a software solution that will show you what the different settings are, and it will even pick the optimal things for your individual system, taking it all out of your hands and you can just worry about playing the games. Once this is done, you're all ready to start enjoying your gaming computer and the hours of PC gaming that will be coming your way. I hope that none of this sounds at all complicated, because it's really not, and if you are new to PC gaming, I assure you you will have no trouble with any of this at all. 
I just thought it'd be a good idea to actually show you this for yourself, and then you can not really be worried about it, I guess. If you are interested in the Orion, I will leave links to this, as well as everything in the setup, other than the cat that has rudely interrupted this video, down in the description below for you. But let me know whether you've enjoyed it by hitting the like button. Comment down below if you're new to PC gaming or you want to get involved and you have any questions. A massive thank you once again to Acer for actually sponsoring this video, for you guys for watching it, and I guess I will see you in the next one.